We're back here at On The Spot with our wonderful candidate here who's running for the 36th Councilmatic District here in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, Ms. Wright. Thank you. Our next subject will be health. Health care of the community. We got a lot of problems here. We definitely do. But, so. but, but it's sketchy. I got, to, I got you know, I, I, I flip out on different sides. Mm -hmm. One way we have a great deal of people without health care. But then as a lifelong bed -Stuy member, you know and I know, there's a great deal of trucks out there giving away medical coverage. How is it they're stopping you? Remember last year, the year before, it would be three trucks on one block down Fulton yeah. Street. How come people don't have medical coverage? Um, unfortunately, a large number of people don't qualify. Someone who's earning minimum wage in New York City and works 35 hours a week is not able to qualify for most of those programs. That's a shame. That truck outside? Yeah. If you make minimum wage? If you, you work 35 hours a week, that's full time. I believe the limit is $780 a month. To get, income. So the truck outside can't help the people? I can't go to a hotel, go on outside and get some coverage? No. So they're out there for nothing? No, there are people who they are capable of servicing. Minimum wage. But it's not affecting our working people, and that's one of the problems. We have a lot of people who are working full time and they need health care mm -hmm. because they might work for small companies that don't offer it, whatever the case may be, they need it. But we have a lot of freelancers now in our community, young people who have started their own businesses, maybe work from home. Mm -hmm. Again, they are looking for health care, so we definitely need to be able to address the health care needs of those people, and we have got to come up with a solution. And I don't have that solution handy. Are you health care is, no. is, is a national is issue. Right. Are you close? Can you help us out for 36th District? The but, city, New York City, what could you give us? You know, we need, though, collectively the, the, with the county. What we could do mm -hmm. is make sure that we have some healthy options here. Everything from green space, places to exercise, um, What's green access space? to help. Um, public space where people can congregate, it's recreation space, it might be a garden, it's, it's community space that helps to sustain the community. It's, I'm sorry, I should say public space that helps to sustain the community. I don't, I don't and it could be flowers, it could be pets, but it's supposed to help clean air, health, because you're running, it's space for you to move around and to be outdoors. Okay, so that's your interpretation, because mm -hmm. everybody, we're going to stay on health care, but everybody keeps talking green. And I'm not really getting too many answers on. Well, it it varies because the when you say green, it means green. a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Uh -huh. um, As and opposed to talk about right, and yeah. it, and that's why I said it's healthcare is the monster that I think our national government is trying to battle, mm -hmm. and it demonstrates exactly how difficult it is to come up with a plan that's going to really address the map. The where do you, do you have an idea where you might want to go or where you want to stand on with healthcare? healthcare? Yeah, where do you want? I would love to see everyone with access to health care mm -hmm. with full coverage. Mm -hmm. And regardless of if they're working full-time or part-time or um, disabled or retired, we need to have a universal health care system. So you agree with Obama with national health care? I do. Okay. So our senior citizens in terms of their health care, mm -hmm. our seniors got a lot of problems and as they get older, we all will. Do you have anything specific? That's going to alleviate the burden today? Yes. No. But we need to be working on what the person, how do we alleviate it for tomorrow? Because it, the solution for today was supposed to have been planned 10 years ago. Of course. So what we can look at is what the solution is going to be for tomorrow. And that's where we have to advocate and support. And also bring to the attention of those who are actually making those, deci those policy decisions the fact that we have working class, we have working people who can't qualify for the programs that currently exist, or that we have an entire class of people who just fall outside the parameters of what's in existence today, and that's what we need to make sure is constantly put in front of those policymakers. I'm going to just throw this out there. Can the council possibly help with the rising cost of medication? And is it possible to legislate something for seniors, so they don't have to, you know, they're taking a lot of medication, and the, and the cost is just unreal. It's through the roof. I don't know if, okay, 
I know this I is a national issue. Uh, I, I know this is a this is a national a, issue. A real solution okay. to but it. I'm, I'm, I'm it going at you. That I want to get a feel for where you're going as possibly taking over my district here. <laughs> well, we definitely could do. The city always has funds that they could push towards various initiatives. And if we have, if we come up with an initiative that will help to buffer the cost or to allow our seniors um, access to generic drugs at a lower rate or some kind of matching that could happen, it's not impossible. Everything is possible, but we really just need to mm -hmm. sit down and think about it. But we need to have fresh outlook on it. Okay. Because it is possible okay. to come up with food. Let's try something different here. Let's try education. Yes. What's your policy? What, what do you stand on education? What do you want to see? I think everybody needs a good one. Of That's course. <laughs> of course. Of course. So, no. Certified but, teachers. What? Tell us about it. I want to hear. I'm trying to figure yeah, out where you're going. We are in a very tough place, I think, with our public school system. Mm -hmm. um, we seem to have a lot of focus on testing. And I don't know that the results are demonstrating that our children are learning anything more. That comes from George Bush, no child left behind, am I correct? I don't know if I can assign it strictly to him what or mean? but it's 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 this whole test thing. It's the focus on testing. And I think that we on the city level have some ability to shape curriculum so that it doesn't have to be test centric. And Further, we do we need some checks and balances on the DOE so that the monies that are we can sort of qualify how the monies were spent and we can see some what the testing is we can measure mm -hmm. what that testing is supposed to measure because right now we're hearing number test scores have gone up but I don't know what that really means and as a parent I don't know if they would know what that meant either. Well, and how so would you get these to parents that. involved? I mean. In our community, we have a very big problem, and I don't mean community of the 36th district, I mean communities of color. When things happen in there, you don't really see the parents filling up the auditorium like other ethnic groups. What do you suggest, and how would you bring something different? We well, gotta bring out- Part of it is that we need to make sure that everybody knows that they're responsible, not just the people that have kids in the public school. This is our neighborhood school, mm -hmm. and we all have some responsibility to make sure that it's operating properly. And we need to make sure that those the advisory groups, the CECs, have members who may not have children in that school or in that district, mm -hmm. but live there, who have some kind of investment in that community. They're invested there, so they want to see it prosper. They want to see it thrive. And that's what we have to do, because there's so many people who have talents and their children, they don't have children, or their children are not in that school, and so they they don't op, they don't come into the soaker or into the fold. And we need to make sure that we're pulling them in. We have a rich community. We need to tap into it. Okay. Women's issues. Where do you stand? There's some issues that need to be addressed that I don't really see the women out there talking about them. I'm not saying it's not happening. Mm -hmm. but what some What are some of the women's issues that you would like to see, because uh, candidate Tilani Kennard of the 43rd Councilmatic District mm -hmm. was supposed to be here with us also. She had a previous engagement. She tried to cancel it, and uh, we're going to get back to that too. But I really wanted both of y'all here because I think there are issues that uh, women has to address and be have it out more on the forefront. And what might be some of those issues? I think we have a growing domestic violence problem amongst our young people. Very big. And we need to give attention to that. And some of it is education, some of it is mentoring, but it's gonna take a multi-faceted program and multifaceted effort in order to address it. And I would say that that's probably one of the biggest concerns. What could you do as a council member? I know Joe Hines has some very good information on his website. The um, District Attorney Joe Hines has a very good panel up there and uh, he, uh, very good issues. He's got issues up there that's very good. Very helpful. Well, there is an entire arm of the um, mayor's office that's supposed to address domestic violence in the schools. Mm -hmm. And we need to be, we need to have that mobilized and operating in full force. We need to um, get the message out to the community. 
and we need to make sure that we have safe space so that people who are under distress can come and get some help. And we have some places that offer um, domestic violence assistance, but we need more. And we need to make sure that it's not, um, that people feel not only safe, but they feel comfortable and they don't feel ashamed. Okay. I think that those are some okay. of the things that We're gonna be right back. We're gonna finish this because I really want to talk about my women's issues. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be right back with a brief message from our sponsors and we're gonna pick up where we left off.